This video is about the proof for residue theorem. Now the proof of residue theorem is really easy. It is just the consequence of Cauchy integral formula. Just that and you just have to know what is the definition of a residue. Then you can prove this easily. Let's take a simple closed curve C. And there are some singularities in it. For example at point A, B, E. I wrote E because the C is for curve. E, F, G and so on. So now what we will do is this. We will enclose all those singularities in curves like this, this and this. And their direction will be like this. This will C1, C2, C3, C4 and so on. So now from Cauchy integral formula we know this that integration along c f z dz will be equal to integration along c1 f z dz integration along c2 f z dz and integration along c3 f z dz and so on now you know that right this is the direction this that means it is saying that this is the region inside this curve and its direction so this is the region this is the positive direction for this region and this is the positive direction for this region not this one okay i have told you this in detail in the proof of Cauchy integral theorem and its consequences and also we know that residue at a point is equal to 2 pi i times a minus 1 where a is the singular point and a minus 1 is the residue at that point this is an example curve for this now we will do all this for all these curves so it will be 2 pi i times a minus 1 for this one this will be 2 pi i times b minus 1 this will be 2 pi i times e minus 1 so we just put the values in here and now we will take the 2 pi i common and we remain with the sum of residue and 2 pi i times the sum of all residues so we have proved the residue theorem so this is a very simple proof for residue theorem so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything